Сьогодні багато в медіа говорять про те, що ми отримали дозвіл на відповідні дії. Але удари завдають не словами. Такі речі не анонсують. Ракети самі за себе скажуть. Обов'язково. Слава Україні! Now we finish here with the president of Ukraine said in English. Today, there's a lot of talk in the media about us receiving permission for respective actions. But strikes are not carried out with words. Such things are not announced. Missiles will speak for themselves. Glory to Ukraine. We cannot be waiting for Trump to decide. Our support to Ukraine has to continue. Has to continue. We will see what's happening. We don't know what's going to happen. But by the time being, for today and tomorrow, and the day after tomorrow, people are fighting and dying in the battlefield. They are not speculating. They are risking their life. So today and tomorrow, and the day after tomorrow, what we have to do is to continue supporting them. President Biden authorized the use of long-range weapons until 300 kilometers inside the Russian territory. That's a very good news for the Ukrainians. They have been asking for that. Now the U.S. has granted this permission. Ukraine fired six U.S.-made uh, missiles here at Russia's Bryansk region. Russia's defense ministry just releasing that information days after U.S. President Biden eased those restrictions on Ukrainian use of American-made weapons in the war that is now marking its 1,000th day. Ukraine claimed it hit a military weapons depot there in the middle of the night, though it didn't specify what weapons it actually used. The Ukrainian general staff said that multiple explosions and detonations were heard in that targeted area. Vladimir Putin has a new warning for the United States after President Biden authorized Ukraine to use long-range missiles supplied by the U.S. to strike inside Russia. I want to go back to our chief foreign correspondent, Ian Panel in Ukraine. Good morning, Ian. Yeah, good morning, George. And we just had confirmation that Ukraine has actually now fired these American-made attack and ballistic missiles into Russia. President Biden, of course, lifting restrictions on where the weapons can be used. But as you say this morning, Vladimir Putin appearing to threaten to use nuclear weapons if these were used. But Ukraine seeming to call his bluff, firing six missiles into an ammunition storage warehouse in the Bryansk region of Russia. Russia claiming that it intercepted five of these missiles. You know, Putin's made nuclear threats before that have proved to be hollow. But I think the situation remains highly volatile. Putin has brought 11,000 North Korean troops to Ukraine's borders. This contingent may grow to 100,000. Even with North Korea's Kim Jong-un, but by his side, Putin remains smaller than the United States of Europe. I urge you not to forget this and do not forget how much Europe is capable of achieving. You know very well that Putin does not value people or rules. He values only money and power. These are the things we must take away from him to restore peace. Russia has begun mass production of radiation-resistant mobile bomb shelters according to the country's emergency ministry research institute. The shelters look like reinforced shipping containers and can accommodate 54 people each. The shelters can also be deployed in extreme environments as well as protect against shockwaves, shrapnel, and fires. The institute did not link the mass production effort to any current crisis. Sweden is telling its citizens to prepare for nuclear war and stockpile food and water as World War III fears grip Europe. The Nordic country has issued five million updated pamphlets from six years ago titled If Crisis or War Comes Because of the Worsening Security Situation Following Russia's Invasion of Ukraine. It comes just as Washington has given the green light for US missiles to be used to strike inside Russian territory for the first time. Sweden is now warning its 
residents to shelter amid fears of nuclear war breaking out. The pamphlet, which has been issued just five times since World War II, is twice the size of previous years. The document tells Swedes that the global security situation increases the risk that nuclear weapons could be used, and in the event of an attack with nuclear, biological, or chemical weapons, to take cover in the same way as in an air attack. It goes on to say that shelter provides the best protection for a couple of days until radiation has decreased significantly. We have never been closer to World War III than we are today under Joe Biden. A global conflict between nuclear armed powers would mean death and destruction on a scale unmatched in human history. It would be nuclear Armageddon. Nothing is more important than avoiding that nightmare. We will avoid it, but we need new leadership. Every day this proxy battle in Ukraine continues, we risk global war. We must be absolutely clear that our objective is to immediately have a total secession of hostilities. All shooting has to stop. 25th Amendment, Kamala takes office, war starts, wartime presidential powers, martial law. Trump never takes office.